from my the chantam and I'm saying it for sure okay this Aru Arjun is definitely going to be the next superstar of this country. Alshibad Musibu Gaga can you spell uh, humility? I'll say A R J U <laughs> <laughs> Acting hacks. When I'm acting, just say cut. Somebody cut. 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 They just drop off. They just drop off. You know when they're dancing, just say cut. 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 <laughs> you know you just don't give the time for the editor to snap the shot. It gets completed on the fourth second and the, we tend to say cut on the 3.5 seconds and the actor drops at the 3.8 the last 2.2 frames are gone so never cut immediately when they say cut don't drop off <laughs> whether it's a song whether it's a fight whether it's an emotion whether it's a dialogue whatever continue as an actor Continue as an actor. Don't stop. Especially for a song, there's no cut point. You know what I keep saying my cut is? My cut is never the vocal cut. I try to challenge the editor to catch a relaxing frame of mind. You know, I'm mentally trying to fight with the editor. Say, I don't want to give this guy a chance to catch my that relaxing frame. You know that you know, when you fall, you know, there's that frame in the editing room. I don't want to give him that frame. It should always be in my character. Cut and there. You should cut even the last frame. I should be in the acting room. Great actors will not give you that that one frame, you know, where they can catch you. You know, I know actors. Believe me, I know actors. You know, girls are dancing. Cut. Girls are dancing. Hello. <laughs> I'll tell you what happens by that. Forget the editor and everything. Many times, it gives a sensible director will never say cut. Even if he says cut, right? If the actor is performing, they put their hand up and they say roll it. There is one example that I've seen in Hum Kum Fu. I don't know how many of you guys have seen it, but I have learned this out of my first experience. So I will try to then the project like this. The dialogue scene is something like she says, Kya tum mere jaisa ladke ke do you want to be with a guy like me? That's what Shai Farikam shouts. And Rani Mukherjee walks out, out of the toilet. She goes out of the toilet, it's actually a cut point. There's nothing for the actor to do. He's just standing there. Because that's it. But you know what he did? They actually kept that piece. The cut point is when she's out. Because the actor did it, you know, they keep it. A good actors, no? Even after the point is over. Sir, you just have to come and say bye bye. Okay, bye bye. You know what? That's what an actor is giving. Bye bye, cut. Oh, it's over. Your actor's job is over. But what do you extend? Try to extend yourself in the short. Don't just do cut to cut. That's just one scene which I was going to do. You know, it's a close up shot. And uh, I said, you, I was a very, I was doing my third team. I said, you tell that guy, that guy is not there. Somebody, I'm just referring to somebody. The dialogue is, you tell that guy never to come back here again. So I said, you know, I'm talking about intense. I said, you tell that guy never to come back here again. He just stopped me. I said, Bhani, you're giving a very intense scene. When you're giving a very intense scene, you know, people are looking into your eyes. You're telling me something very intense. When you look away and come back, right, it cuts the intensity. If you actually notice good actors like Irfan Khan, or Nazir Shah, or even uh, Manoj Bajpai, a couple of actors, when they're actually giving you into the eye, right, they don't look up. Mm -hmm. Because when you're looking at the camera, it means the audience are directly looking at you. It's a very Close up is a very, very prestigious shot. You know, we do 20 close ups in a day. That's why we lose its value. Even I lose my value. But close up is a very valuable shot because in a close up, there's nothing but you. 
if any of them big shot, you know, there's a fan, there's a light, you know, there's a thing, there's a dress, there's a collar, there's, there's your hair, there's everything in the frame. But in a close up, there's nothing but feel. Close ups are very important. So when you're giving intensity, don't cut away your intensity. Yes, if the mood or the situation demands, maybe you can look away, yes. But if you actually notice many of the good actors, they look. They see. Learn to see. It's very uncomfortable to see. I have to tell you so. I was extremely uncomfortable to watch. So all of you get there, I'm sure. I'm leaving this. I have to brush up my acting skills. So what do I do? How do I become the next level of actor? One of the things which I personally feel that has been teaching me, I'm still yet to see is, every year, Oscar awards go through the five nominations of the best actor. Because what you see now is the world's best performances. The top five performances. Only one winner could have been there. But believe me, everybody came neck to neck. One guy was 100, the other guy must have just been 99. So there's a lot of to pick up from that as well. So try to watch the five top nominations every year. Best actress, actor, best supporting role for male and female. Because you can actually see what they do. It's a very nice place to you know pick up a lot of acting. Just start inside the actor studio. It's a workshop exactly like this, with the budding young actors. And all the top actors in the world have done a workshop. So they tell you the details <laughs> of what that person, how Al Pacino acts. How Sean Cameron reacts, how Tom Hanks reacts, how this person acts, that person acts. That's one great place. This is a small tip, you know, because you guys are doing workshops, you know. It'll be a nice, just go through that. It'll be a great place. You'll learn a lot. You know, I was just watching uh, one of my good favorite actors, Kevin Spacey. He did the film American Beauty. So, you won't believe he was sitting there and the host was talking to him saying, so Marlon Brando, so how do you like this new thing? And he just put up his collar like that and he started talking like Marlon Brando. He imitated 20 actors right there. So Elvis, and he just spoke like Elvis. You should see that. It's kick ass. So each actor, you should see Jim Carrey what in there. Each actor is an encyclopedia there. Because over there, unlike our Indian films, man, right? we don't have, see over here, you need to be a good dancer. You need to be glamorous. You need to do fights sometimes, at least in the South scenario. So you do a lot of things and you also do acting. Over there, if it's only acting, acting, those guys do only one job. That's why they're very good at it. They act. They don't do other stuff. That's why you find the best performances, you know, in their films. And one of the reasons why we find their performances better is because we use a lot of dubbing. Dubbing will actually kill a lot of the performance. But I said, get up! Whatever I do, I will never get the same intensity in a dubbing world. You know, what I am not right now, I will never get it. You can get it. I can fake it. I can get it. But there's a lot of things, you know, that you just can't get it. Their performances are very good because they use a lot of sync sound. We're also trying to get a lot of Bollywood films also use sync sound. But most our films we dub. And uh, in dubbing techniques, this is one of those small, small dubbing techniques I like to tell you. I'm a dancer. Uh, once I landed up on the set, and uh, the BGM was for It's a single shot, in a single, without any cut, I had to do for 40 seconds. We started at 9 o'clock, we wrapped up at 1.30 in the afternoon. So, per day, the shooting cost is around 10 laps. So, I'm actually learning on the set at the cost of 1 lakh per hour. This is a basic logic I'm giving you. So it took me 6 lakhs or 5 lakhs to learn at one shot. That was, sorry, it was a 30 seconds clip. The next day, I had to do a 50 seconds clip. So they calculated today one day, you know, Bunny, they called it Bunny. Today Bunny took around, you know, for 30 seconds, he took around, uh, you know, half a day. So the next day, the whole day, they planned for the entire day. The whole day's work will take 50 seconds. I said I'm not going to come to the set in the morning. Get me a... You know, in the evening I want to rehearse. Because I don't want to learn at the cost of one life. In the rehearsal, when I learn it, it's for free. It's just going to cost me a rehearsal room charges. Which is like 500 bucks an hour. 
where is one lakh where is one lakh? I'm just giving you a financial, you know, outlook of it. So I rehearsed. We started the shop next at eight thirty, and we're supposed to deal at six thirty. I finished at eight forty-five. Oh. We did the first take. It was good, but we weren't sure if this is good or not. It was the first take. Then we just did another one. It goofed up. We thought, okay, first take, okay. <laughs> so my thing is that if you have a song, try to rehearse if you can. And uh, when you have any floor movements or complicated moves, you know, don't think. Try to wear, you know, those safety gears. Don't think, you know, by me not wearing it. And trying to really do it is I'm a being a sincere actor or I'm trying to be a hardworking actor. That is stupidity. Trying to harm yourself or to your body in any deeds of acting is not any definition of an actor. It is sheer stupidity. If you think that you have to break a glass when you actually go bang into a glass, you're doing. You're not acting. Don't do it. Act. Fake it. Don't think if I really bang into this. You know, people will say, "Wow, he did a real shot," and it's stupidity. I personally think it's stupidity. Don't hurt yourself for things like this. <laughs> what is important in a fight, right? A lot of impact of the fight comes from the sound and the reaction. It's not the action. Just take a one minute. Come on. What is very important is suppose there's a fighter. You don't have to hit him hard. You know what? Doesn't mean if I You know, this goes at 10 kilometers per hour speed. If I go at 30, doesn't mean it is good acting. No, that is not what a good fighter does, or that's not what a professional. My act, the good fight, is not in the action; it's in the reaction. So it's like I bang this. How do you know I banged it really hard? If even if there's a wall, I'm just saying there's a wall. I banged it. So how do you know I banged really hard? Because of the sound. Oh, the, imagine there's no sound. Can you see how hard I bang? No. Just see this. Oh, say, oh, just see this. How do you know so much? Even if I do, there's so much. Why? Because there is no reaction there. The wall doesn't react. Over here, they react. Objects react. Same way. If I'm an actor, I hit. You know, it's not how hard I hit; it's how well I act after I hit, or how well he acts after he takes the shot. If I hit him, he just hit him. Just, just, just touch. Okay, it's not. If I really want to hit, sure, touch. <laughs> so it's by my reaction. It's not how hard he hits. The reaction is more important in a fight than the action. This is a very key thing. The reaction, even for an actor who hits, right? If I'm hitting him. You know, it's, it's my body language. It's my reaction. You know, I hit them really hard. No, I'm going to hit them really hard. But what is the point if I'm not reacting? I should react. He should react. But the act, you should fake the act. Fake the act. Don't make you do. You know, I'm acting. <laughs> That's very important for a fight. You know, flexibility. All this definitely helps. But Please remember, especially men, you don't have to harm the fighter. Reaction is very important. Reaction could be a hundred ways: your body language, your expression, everything. If you see Bruce Lee, is actually, you know, why do you feel so powerful when you see a Bruce Lee fight? Because he reacts more. He acts more. <laughs> the reaction more. You get a wrong idea. A fighter, a good professional stuntman, right? He actually won't take a shot. He will react so much for what you give. And uh, dubbing techniques. Basically, you've done something in the dubbing world. See, suppose what we do is we do a scene, and you have to dub for the scene later. Suppose here you come now. Hi, how are you? I'm good. She said I'm good. Same thing. We shot the scene. I have to dub for the same scene. What do I do? 
without my knowledge, I go to the dummy room, I see the shirt, I just say, hi, how are you? You don't get the same nuances. You should imagine the person is this far away. So how would I say, hi, how are you? If I just say, hi, how are you? It won't work. So you have to imagine what is there in that situation and fake accordingly in the dummy room. <coughs> so try to do that. Or you always try to know the depth of the character, how far the person is. Hello! It's very different from saying, hello. So, hello you say to this person. So same thing I said, hello. I said, hello! So you're calling somebody who's there saying, my hello has a meaning. Saying, hello, you're so far away. You know, it has that meaning. So when you dub, try to get that. Every dubbing, each word will have a sense. You know, when you said it, try to remember. When you see the shot, you'll remember, you know, what you said. Try to do that. A dubbing room can never get the same thing. You know, even if I fake it, you can never get the sense. But we have to try to get, you know, people get 70, 80, 90, 99. That's the max you can get. Try to be more than 90 to that. That's just my only advice about dubbing. So yeah, you gave us a lot of uh, good uh, advice, but how do you prepare right before a scene? Like, let's say you go to the morning day, how do you, what do you do in order to become comfortable and get into character also? What you ask me is a very subjective and personal thing. Each person prepares in a particular style. Uh, basically, I know the entire story. In my scenario, what happens is they pitch the entire film. Because I play a protagonist, they tell the entire film, I like the subject I do. So I know when the scene comes. So, the first thing I do is, I read through, through the scene, the entire scene, if I'm comfortable with the entire scene. Or if there's something for me to improvise, or there's something for me to enhance. You know, I do it, I work it with my director. So can I say this? So can I say this? So this I cannot say. You know, it doesn't come. But do you want me to take it? It won't look nice. Say, so try, it's not nice. So we improvise that. <coughs> and definitely what I do is, personally, I have a problem. I can't read my language. My language is thin. So I can't read the language, though they give me dialogue. So what I do is, I write it down in English. So I write down my dialogues in English. So when you write it down, when you write your own dialogues, it sinks in you faster than you can actually read it. Yeah. So you know your lines. If you don't know your lines, you won't be confident. You know what happens if you don't know your lines? Many actors I've seen, when they go loud, when you actually speak loud, right, you forget your dialogues. When you give you a lengthy line, you know, you, you, I can say it at this pace, but if I have to scream and say it, I'll forget it. I'll forget it as a 40th person. So you have to be so well versed with your line, that even in whatever modulation you say, you're so good with it. That is what. And if you notice, a lot of people flutter their eyes because they don't remember the dialogue. Boom! As a matkaba. Confidence in the actor <laughs> dropping. <laughs> if you actually remember that, you're like, Tum! Asamak. You have your confidence if you know the dialogue. So that's one thing I do. And uh, it all depends upon my character. See, I try to behave also like my character. You know, if I'm a very reckless guy, <laughs> you know, I try to behave like my character. That's what I said. You know, there's one, it is my own body language. I just say, hey, this is my body language. But I try to behave like a character. A character has a different, you know, a guy. <laughs> so, try to behave like your character and get your lines right. From there, you'll have your own. See, each one of you, when you actually get there, you will actually have your own formula. I told you, there is no definition for anything. Different ways of description. My apple is different from yours. See, I've never went for formal training for dance. Uh, I'm a gymnast. I'm, I'm a gymnast. So that, and I've always danced as a child. You know, it's just a passion. I never trained. I'm not a trained dancer. And uh, I think my secret, if you ask me, is Alihas. You know, I can I can come and I can do the same shot when I'm dancing. I do the same shot. It takes me one hour to learn on the set. But if I rehearse, my confidence is different. And a lot of dancers, yes, 
When touch dancing, there's one thing from the face. A lot of dancers dance from here. They dance from here to the neck. From the neck below. Not many, not many dancers dance from above the neck. Even I do. <laughs> I'm trying to learn how to dance above your neck. You should be able to dance without even losing. Madhuri Dikshit can dance without losing. Yeah. You know, anybody can do that step. But the way Madhuri Dikshit does it, she dances with her face. You know, she dances, she emotes with her face. You should be able to dance and express yourself. So I think that is the you know, next league of dancing. And Govinda, he's just not dancing. You know, he's, emo he's saying something. Trying to be funny. <laughs> he, he has something. He has something to say. My uncle, uh, his name is Chirinji. I don't know how many of you guys know. Amazes me how he can dance with his face. You know, just a step like this. You know, he, he does it so well. Like. <laughs> 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 no, he does it with his face. You know, I'm not being able to do 50 percent of what he can. Even I'm trying to learn. So, you know, I'm there. I told you, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not great actor. I'm just like one or two steps ahead of the other side. Jeff's short style is there. So, when you start with Del, you face the camera. Yes, yes, yes. What happens is, um, suddenly when I'm like this, when the camera rolls, no, I'm just telling my scenario. <laughs> you try to start acting. <laughs> So suddenly, you know, I'm angry. When the camera rolls, I'm more angry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> so, you know, I've noticed this one thing. Good thing that you asked me. You know, Mr. Manoj Bajpayee, as we are short with him, there's one notice that you know, one thing that I've noticed. Yeah. Earlier, film, now it's digital. Digital doesn't cost anything. Earlier, film, per second, used to cost almost a hundred bucks. Yeah. 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 Mr. Manoj Bajpayee, you know, there's a camera rolling, start. No. He actually took that much time to get himself calm because you know when there's a sound, <laughs> no, you don't have that sound now because it's digital, it's like or earlier you used to have a running sound. So you know subconsciously that thing is running. <laughs> you know, you're like, okay, I have to finish fast. Psychologically. <laughs> because it's so expensive. But those actors took it out of their heart. I don't give a care about the money. He, he just didn't give a damn. He wasted 400 bucks before he even started. But he didn't care about that. He just took his time. He was just to say no. Say, action? <coughs> no. That's all we have to say. Action. So he got accumulated in the sound. You know, earlier I used to be on the tip. I said no. <laughs> I said, you know, <laughs> because I used to calculate when that meter is running, money is getting over. This is not your job. <laughs> Yeah, I might be the producer, but don't think about it now. <laughs> so that's one of my advice. So don't, now we have digital, so you don't. I don't think we have that pressure anymore. So you have to close your ears. Mm, we are good. No, you have to close your ears. You just have to close so your ears. Your ears. Yeah, your ears. No, you just have to close. Don't give us fuck. Because. <laughs> People who watch, they don't give a shit about who's standing next to you or what or what. When you see the shot, everything's out of the frame. They might be, you know, when I'm actually here, there's 50 things around me. But all that is out. Disturbing you? Just say, don't be like, you're moving to one? Please. There's actually almost a very good discipline that, you know, when they're doing, especially in 10 scenes and normal scenes. Most of them won't disturb. Sometimes I lose it too. Some guys like you know, moving something, you know, making some fire. Hey! Cut! Stop doing that. 
even I lose it. Even I'm a person. Even a normal person. Even I lose it. So, actually, I should not lose it. I should not give a damn about it. Good actors don't give a damn. So don't give a damn. Wherever you're acting, you might. I'm. You know what? I'll be acting in a space where I can't stand. Just ten feet around me, there are ten thousand people. I'm not exactly. Ten feet around me, I can see hundreds of people. I'm driving, I'm shooting a traffic, so the entire thing gets more. You still have to do your life. Everybody's watching, somebody's taking a video, clap, 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 clap. Hundred things, people screaming, they're shouting, hello, they're calling you. Don't give a damn. The shot is your moment. Record it, it's there for life. It's, once it's recorded, it's there for life. Hundred times you'll see it on TV, you'll see it on YouTube, you'll see it everywhere, you'll be like, you know, once it's gone up in the air, it's in the cloud later. You can't get it back. So don't give it back. That's my personal best. Sir, how difficult it is to dance with uh, you know, when so many people dancing behind you, you know, in a song sequence. So how difficult it is for the first time to dance like that? You know, it's easy because all of us are on the same second. You know that the beat comes tuck. And there's a big tap. All of you have to do tap. So everybody is doing exactly in the same second what they have to do. You have nothing to do with others. The others have nothing to do with you. In that second, everybody does the same thing. So it's not confusing. Unless and until you know you're into them or you know, unless and until you should not get confused because you just have to do what you're doing. You don't bother about you know how do I sit with my heroes. You do your job well, it will automatically be synchronized. She has to do her job well. It will automatically be synchronized. <coughs> Of course, you do need uh, definitely chemistry. Chemistry doesn't mean <laughs> <laughs> you just have to need to. How do you say if you're uncomfortable with something? You know, there's a shot where the girl has to come. Just come. Just give me your hand. Turn. Turn and come. Turn and come. Okay. She's coming. Okay. Wait. Stop. You step on my foot right now. So I'll say what you do is come forward. Now go back. Yeah. Do it from there. Just turn. That's it. See, now she's forward. She's not stepping on my phone. So if you have any synchronization problem like that, the best thing is to identify the problem and rectify it. Very simple. What's that? It's a good one. Identify and rectify it. If there's a synchronization with the other person, because I have to touch. Suppose the sequence which I'm doing all by myself, then she's doing all by herself. She's doing something else, you're doing something else. You just have to do what you have. You don't have to bother. Some synchronization is like this, then you have to coordinate with your wife. Actually, so do it. What one thing I've noticed, every actor has the tension. Because you're going to, you're stepping into a new zone which never existed. See this, you know, you're working with a cameraman you never worked. You're working with a director. This combination is a new combination. All 200 people who assemble on the set, you don't know anybody. Or you know only few people. This entire combination changes. The previous film was maybe the same cameraman, but a different director, a different set of crew, a different producer. And tomorrow you have somebody else. So everybody has that thing, you know, that little pressure. Even I've seen superstars hands. On the first day, you know, they're nervous. Because you have to get into the character. You know, is my clothing okay? You know, is my body language fine? You know, is my hair set for the character? <laughs> so there are a lot of... I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very anxious. I'm actually restless. Personally, I'm restless. And I've seen many actors are restless in the first day. But once you finish the complete the first day, second day, and then you finish 10 days, then you have a break. So I've got a week break. And then you're starting a second schedule. You're fine, you're set. Because you got in your character. You know how your hair is set. You know how your clothes are. You know how your dialogues, your lines, what you're doing. It's personal. It's subjective. Okay. I would love to come again and teach whenever I'm around in Mumbai. So, you be a show. Like just uh, said, you know why I'm like this? Why am I here? I call up I chase him. I say, sir, you know, whoever batches are there, that wants to ask him to just come. Why? Because I was just a student like you guys. A couple of tips which, you know, I picked up from in the class, or somebody who said, or some actor who I worked with. Everybody helps us to get better. So when I was doing, I was thinking, you know, there are a lot of doubts for a lot of young students. You should try to help each other out. And like Sir said, not many come back to 
tell because you know you don't want to start competition. This is my personal view. Why you don't want to start competition? Why do you want to start competition? I believe in starting and you know why. I'm say at the 10 steps. I'm at step three. You're at step one. If you come up to step three, it means you grew. By then, if I'm not at step six, it's my fault. So when you're moving, I'm also moving. It has to be like that. If it's dark, if it's like this, it means that I have stopped yeah. and you're growing. So I can't cry about someone else growing. It's my mistake that I haven't. So that's my powerful thought.